Hello, hello, how goes it? Hope you're doing great. This is gonna be a quick tip on how to show or hide automation in Pro Tools. What is automation? Well, that's things like volume rides or, or sends or you know controlling pan left to right or automating uh, reverb amounts. And every DAW has that and it's usually one key command or a couple. So in Pro Tools, it's very simple. If you're on a track and you want to see the volume automation or the current selected automation, you hit the minus key. The minus key is going to show and hide it. Um, it's right next to the zero key and to the left of the plus and equal key on your typing keyboard. All right. And one thing to note is in Pro Tools, when you hit that minus key, you'll see what automation you're seeing over here. So you see we've got volume. Well, if we want to see the mute automation, whether we are turning mute on and off, there we go. So we could go into this lane, and when we're playing back, you see that this mutes this, the, it, it mutes this track, okay? Um, another way to view this is if you see this little arrow key, it'll show the automation lane. So if I hit minus key and turn this off, you can see this in normal mode, and then you can see different uh, automation parameters, which can be useful. Um, and you can collapse that. Now, to see all of your automation on all of your tracks, you're going to hit Option or Alt and the minus key, and it's going, it's going to show the automation for all of your tracks. Um, now, say we wanted, right now we're seeing uh, the volume automation on all the tracks. Say we wanted to see um, a different function. What you do is you'd hit Control, Option, and Command, and you'd click on whatever parameter you want to see. So say we want to see the mute automation here. So I'm going to hold Control, Option, and Command. Suddenly, we see all the automation for that on every single track. And say we just want to see that parameter on just the one track, you're going to hit Control and Command, not the Option key or Alt key. And you're going to click on that one parameter, and you'll just see it on that one track. Pretty cool, right? So if you want to go back to normal, you just hit Option and minus key, or just minus key for that track you want to see. And that's it, folks. Um, pretty simple, and it can be really, really useful and speed up your workflow, and then you're not digging through menus. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment uh, below. And if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, feel free to hit me up. And if this was helpful to you, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great one wherever you are. All right, take care.